We're gonna talk about the night before starting off the via, what you do. I'm gonna take my own advice. I'm gonna give it to you. In case you are just about to start this journey, I'm gonna give you all my best tips and tricks. And I'm gonna kind of just explain to you what to do as I refresh my own self. Because tomorrow, September 30th, Monday, I am restarting my journey with the Optivia 501 program. Now, as you've seen in my previous videos, there's lots of choices for programs, so many different ones, but Optivia 5 and one is near and dear to my heart. It's the one I used the first time and it's the one I'm choosing to use now. So, hey y'all, welcome to or back to my channel. For those of you that are new, my name is Abby. I am a busy mom of six. I'm married to a high school football coach here in the state of Texas, and I am a health coach for the Optivia program. I love what I do. I love helping other people get healthy. I've helped a lot of people get healthy, but as we all know, life is ups and downs and it's a journey and it's not just like a one-way train to optimal health that stays forever, right? Kind of looks more like this. There's highs and lows and I'm not going to lie. I've been making excuses, albeit like reasonable reasons for the past few months I had a total thyroidectomy June 3rd of this year and it has rocked my world when I tell you my metabolism and everything about my body has changed it's true and now I'm taking like three medications every day and I never used to even take Advil so it's been a learning curve but I have been letting that slide too long as an excuse basically what happened is I pause I need to back up <laughs> Sorry, squirrel. Um, four years ago, my husband and I lost 65 pounds each on the Optivia 5-in-1 program. We were able to maintain, and life was fine in my health until I had my thyroid out. And now I find myself 35 pounds heavier than I need to be, and I want to get the weight off. A few things. I already weigh myself every day. That's like a chronic I got occupational hazard of being a health coach. <laughs> so I've seen the scale trending in the wrong direction. Fast forward to back what I was saying after I gained the weight from, I was diagnosed March 2nd or no, March 1st of 2024 with hyperthyroidism. I was 150 pounds. Today, I got to weigh myself in because it's been the weekend and I haven't, but I'm guessing I'm somewhere around 189. I was 189 back in July when I started back on the five and one but I didn't see the progress and the speed that I wanted to see it. And I sort of just gave up. And that's just the honest truth. We um, have a foster son, a newborn baby now living with us. And I just used that and my thyroid and my medication and not feeling good and all the things as excuses. So I gained the 16 pounds back that I lost. And it's just been a yo-yo of learning. And I'm not out eating ice cream every day, but gosh dang it, my body's just so changed. So Come heck or high water, I am back on program tomorrow. And I'm gonna do it for 31 days straight regardless of the results. And I'm gonna prove to myself and everyone else that it still works, even when you got other things going on. But I'm hopeful that I can inspire someone or someone who are also struggling with health or different things to still like hang tight and be happy for how you, I just, it's so much more than the scale. I feel so good when I'm in fat burn and I feel so good when I'm on the Optivia 5 one program. And right now I feel crumbzos. I feel so bad, like, mm, like bloat face, all the things. I am not in the mood to take pictures and weigh in, but I'm still gonna do it. And that's my first tip to unite before, put those feet on the scale, take a picture, send it to your coach. Your coach is an invaluable resource in this journey. If you don't have a coach, hi, I'll be your coach. If you do have a coach, go reach out to them because they're so, so imperative in this journey. They're your personal guide to help you along the way. Um, careful when you take your scale picture. Sometimes there's a reflection. If you weigh naked like I do, you know, no one wants to see that. So take your feet on the scale picture. Okay. You can weigh once a week. You can weigh every day. Just don't get mad when you weigh every day if your body fluctuates because hormones, water, sleep, all the things play a role, okay? At least weigh in once a week. I also want you to do pictures once a week. And everyone minds about that, but pictures are worth a thousand words and you can see the difference way faster on that than you can the scale. And as disgusting as it feels to take pictures, like I'm gonna share mine with you guys and they're not good, I can promise you that. But um, it's just so worth it. And usually when I do pictures, I'll insert a clip probably like right here on how to do pictures, but usually selfie of your face, face is seven days and you can see it. 
straight arms out in front of you, sideways and backwards. And usually I do it in a tight fitting outfit. So I will, as hard as, whew, as hard as it is to get in front of this camera like this, guys, for the sake of science, for the sake of proving to you that it works. I'm gonna back this up a little bit. Okay, day one, you're gonna wanna, or zero, whatever. You're gonna wanna do a selfie. You're gonna wanna do front, let the arm flab hang out. <laughs> you're gonna do side, don't suck in here. Be honest with yourself. I couldn't even find my spandex. I'm just gonna wear these black shorts for this. You'll be able to see. Back, you can do other side if you want. Okay, this, ugh, it's gonna go away. Okay, we can do this. For measuring your, I feel so vulnerable putting this out here on the internet, that's okay. Measuring for your <laughs> measurements. I can't even talk. This is one problem with not being a fat burn. Your brain fog is bad. Okay, my storage problems. Okay, so my bust was 42. It can be helpful to have someone to help you, but I use my belly button as a marker. Oh, guys, that's a hard pill to swallow. <laughs> It's 38, but current reality is very important, okay? Current reality is super important. And then, but I just try to like pick a middle spot. Kind of use my pubic bone as a guide for what's the middle of my butt. Ooh, I really can tell that that's grown because my clothes don't fit. Um, 43. 42, 38, 43. Blech. If I can do this on the internet in front of y'all, you can do it in your own house. Send it to your coach. The best part about it is that it's gonna be different in a week and in two weeks and in a month and 60 days and 90 days. And then you're gonna be a new person. I've seen it work once. I know it's gonna do it again. Hi, this isn't about you. This is our dog, Red. You were naughty and you dug out today, didn't you? He's a standard poodle. He's a sweetie, but he's also mischievous. Um, can mommy do their video? Thank you. Um, so pictures weigh in. Oh, measurements. Okay. This is another one that I got lazy and I didn't do last time. And that's probably half the reason I got discouraged 15 days in, but bust belly button, but you can do arms and legs if you want. I find like that's hard to get the same landmark. So I usually just do nipple belly button and butt. So we're going to weigh with just like a fabric measuring tape, like a flexible measuring tape. Pictures, weigh in measurements. You can track all of that in the amazing Optavia app. Speaking of the app, if you don't have it, you should get it because it is phenomenal. There's recipes, like three of the recipes I'm making this week that I'm gonna share with y'all are straight out of the app. You can track your water, you can track your food, all the things. Your app even can remind you to eat. I, when I first did this, we didn't have an app like that. So I would use timers on my phone to set it for every two to three hours. Speaking of every two to three hours, the pretty much only thing you need to know when you're starting the five in one program is you're gonna open your box and you're gonna see all the things in there. They're all nutritionally equivalent. You're gonna eat five of those a day, plus one lean and green meal. We'll talk about that in a second. And the five things that you're gonna eat a day, you're gonna space out evenly every two to three hours from when you wake up to when you go to bed. It doesn't matter how close to bedtime you eat. Cool, I know, right? Brownie for dessert, anyone? Yeah. Um, but in the morning, you want to eat within an hour of waking up. Now, if you're like me and you're on levothyroxine or, um, Thyroid medication, I have to wait an hour because there's soy in the fuelings and I don't want the soy to interact with my medication. So usually when I first get up, I will drink my water, I will take my medication and then I'll wait an hour and then my time starts there every two to three. Um, I am at the bottom of the barrel of what I have left for my Optivia fuelings. I'm gonna show you those in just a minute. I already set them out. That's another tip, set them out the night before. That way you know what you're having. I have another box on the way and I'm excited to get some bars back and some hot food back. But right now I have a bunch of packets of like pudding and pancakes and all that. I mentioned to y'all earlier that I had set out my fuelings. So I'm gonna start with the chocolate chip pancake mix. I gotta see if I can find my waffle maker. Otherwise I will do this on the stove and the skillet. We're gonna use the chocolate fudge pudding mix with almond milk and coffee in a shape in the blender. And then I've got a cinnamon roll cake mix and a golden butterscotch blondie mix. And I also already put a chocolate fudge in my Ninja Creamy pint in the freezer for ice cream for tomorrow night. And I'll show you all of that in my day one video. So 
I'll be documenting this whole journey like I did last time so you guys can follow along. But um, five of those things you're going to eat a day. So if you can like open a packet, mix it, and eat it, you're doing great. And you're going to drink minimum of 64 ounces of water. I like to aim for 96. I feel like that's kind of the sweet spot. I tell people you're peeing your fat away. That first week you're going to pee all the time, especially if you're not used to that amount of water. So I use a Stanley. Sometimes I also use the disposable water bottle, 16 ounce ones. I especially do that. Hi, did you come to see Nanite? Mommy has all the friends. Hi, you see hi. Um, I lost my train of thought. Isn't he so distracting? Cause I'm so cute, huh? So I'm gonna drink my water, eat my feelings. Oh, lean and green. This is a super important part of program because it's really the basis for the lifestyle change that you're gonna hold with you forever. You aren't always gonna eat feelings. You're gonna learn to eat a regular whole foods diet from the grocery store as you transition, which your coach can talk to you more about. But um, you're gonna still always eat six times a day. You're still always gonna drink the water. You're still always gonna get the healthy motion because those are the macro habits of health we're employing. For your lean and green, you want to rely completely on your guide. Your Optivia guide tells you everything you need to know. I will link the PDF version of the guide below in case you don't have it. There's a guide for each program, but the one I'm following, like I said, is the five and one. At the very most basic level, you're gonna do five to seven ounces of protein and three servings of vegetables. Tomorrow night, I'm making crustless pizza bowls. So I have my tomato sauce and my veggies, my cheese, my turkey pepperoni, and it's gonna be delicious. And you don't even feel like you are on a health plan. You don't feel like you're missing out on anything. I always pick like one of my favorite leaning greens as night one because it's always just good to do. Um, but it could be as simple as six ounces of roti rotisserie chicken breast from the grocery store and a can of green beans. So you don't have to get all fancy if you don't want to. Um, speaking of the guide and the habits of health, Dr. Wayne Scott Anderson has an invaluable resource for us. And Optivia has come alongside of us. They put it out in book form. If you don't have it, you should get it. They put it out in podcast form. They have it on YouTube. There's digital resources. Like there is no reason, no excuse, no barrier to not have those um, things in your hands. So my goal for the next 31 days is going to be to spend at minimum 15 minutes a day in my life book or listening to podcasts from Dr. Wayne Scott Anderson and the Optivia crew because it really, the lasting change happens right here between your eyeballs, earlobes, I don't know, behind your eyes, between your ears. Um, yes, you're going to see physical change. But if all you do is eat the food and you don't work here and here, it's not going to last. And this and this have been having problems with me for the last few months because I kind of been feeling sorry for myself. And that is something that I've got to work to overcome. And if you're watching this video, you probably have a relationship with food that you need to work to overcome as well. And you're not alone. We are better together. Feel like I'm talking really fast, mostly because people keep coming in and out. And like I said, I'm a busy mom of six, but Oh yes, that reminds me. Okay. Your why is so important. Go write it down tonight. Pause this video. I don't know. Go write it somewhere on your mirror, on your phone screen, on your bedside stand, whatever. Put it around. Why are you doing this? Because if it's just to lose some weight, that might be where it starts, but that's not where it ends for you. And there's going to be deeper meaning. For me, I want to show up in my life as the best wife and mom and friend that I can. And when I look and feel like this, that's not her. I'm grumpy. I'm tired. I'm irritable. And I just feel icky. I don't want to feel that way. I thrived for three years with Optivia. I know what thriving feels like and survival is very uncomfortable now. And I want to help a lot of people. And I can't help a lot of people when I'm not confident in myself. Optivia is a self-development program with a side of weight loss. In case you haven't figured it out, you will. And like I said, it's not a one straight up trajectory. It looks like this all the time. But the bottom line is that it works. And I know it works. And if you work the program, you're not going to fail. You can give up too early like I did the last time. But you're going to come back to it because you feel too good. So if this is your night before, I just want to encourage you. You can do this. It's not going to be easy, but it's going to be worth it. Okay. If you can make it through the first three days, that's your hurdle. You're going to get in fat burn. It's the best metabolic state. You feel amazing. You have energy. Oh, I'm going to bring you guys along on this, but it feels so good. If you can make it through the first five days, even better. And then that first week, you make it through a weekend when you didn't go off plan. And that feeling of pride and success is so much better than anything taste or drinking so much better. 
Then you're gonna start stacking weeks and weekends on top of each other. And pretty soon we're gonna be 31 days in and we're gonna be feeling good and we're gonna be pounds down and wanna do it for the month of November too. I hope you're on this journey with me. Like I said, we're better together. If you have any questions, reach out to your coach. If you don't have a coach, you can comment down below. I'm happy, happy to help. Um, you should be able to be in your in your Facebook team, Facebook group for your coach. Um, you've got the app, you've got the guide, you've got the digital resources. You're not alone. Night before, Optavia, day one tomorrow. Let's do this.